coming to you live with private conversation with Pam Mula, baby. And we finally got your girl in the studio, y'all. Coming off the road. Yes, man. Hey. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Big on YouTube, doing her thing. I am so proud of her, even though we haven't met face to face. She's been a very big supporter, supporter of mine from day one. And I'm about to cry, y'all. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say I see her like a daughter. Aww. <laughs> but I see her as a daughter. Okay. So yeah, if she if she ever call me and say she need me, I'm there. All right. All right. So, Miss Ray. Yes, ma'am. Tell us a little bit about you. <laughs> Uh, about me, so I'm on YouTube, Ray Trucking. I know you put it down there. Basically, I'm 23 years old. I'm a truck driver, and I kind of just have my YouTube explaining to people how it is being a young black female because that perspective isn't out there for truck driving like that. And that's really my whole life, trucking. I got a cute little black uh, cat. I'm a real family-oriented person, and I'm just cool. I'm just a cool little young black woman. I'm just chilling through life. Okay, that's what's up. So the uh, first question I'm going to ask is, how did you get into trucking and content creating? Okay, so it's so funny. This is always the first question people always ask me, and it kind of changes based off of how I'm feeling on that okay. day because it's like it variates. Really, it's like a whole long story, but short, shortest version is I saw somebody that was a truck driver, like I met somebody that was a truck driver, I saw their life. I was kind of bored with my life. I'm an Aries. We like change. So I was like, let me try it. And then I tried it not thinking too much of it, but I ended up falling in love with it. So that was that. And then with the YouTube, I actually created, um, I was in a black truck drivers group and I wanted us to be able to like get a little coalition together and do something with it. So I created a black truck drivers YouTube channel, but that was a lot of maintenance, you know, trying to get a lot of people together and nobody did nothing wrong. But it was just too much trying to maintain everybody. So people were just suggesting change to your own channel. And I did. And then I blew up. And here we are. <laughs> okay. And you're an admin or a moderator on uh, Black Truckers. Yeah. Only on Facebook, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's where me and you, I first saw you. Yeah. I saw you. Yeah. The diesel picture. You was looking so fine with the, the dress. And oh. Crazy over there. <laughs> that's when I first saw you. I was like, who did? <laughs> yeah, child. We here. We here. I understand. I, I understand exactly what you mean. Like you gotta bring some kind of spice to the game because, <sighs> child. Other than that, they think we all look like men and and all this other. But we gonna say that for another time. Yeah. So, um, next question: Are you misunderstood? Ooh, I like that question. <laughs> Very much, greatly, and. I think the biggest thing with it is because I have a YouTube and I'm like a young, pretty black woman. So people kind of expect like this kind of like super city girl type of active, want to talk and type of person. And I'm not like that. Like I'm a real calm. I like to be alone. I'm very introverted. Now I could be outgoing, like super outgoing. I can go out and stuff, but I'm a homebody. I'm not as people think I'm more out there than I really am, I feel. And I'm just chill. like. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So as you know, um, behind the scenes, we did talk about what kind of questions I'll be asking you on the show. So for those who um, this is their first time seeing the show, I don't elaborate. The questions could mean anything. All right. It's up for interpretation. This is a place for my guests to come and just let their followers, new followers, think whatever they want to think. You're getting to know how they think but not really indirectly. <laughs> so I'm gonna be asking you a list of questions. And like I said, behind the scenes, I asked you, did you want it? Mild, medium, or spicy? I said, spice me up, baby. <laughs> yes. And you're the first guest to ask for it. Well, I don't say that, because Dirty Red did say any kind of way, but he still was holding back. So I, you're the first female that says spicy. All right, mm -hmm. so big ups for that. You, you bold enough Thank to step into my room, it's the cave, yeah. and, and get yeah, I want to talk for you and then 
you know, get out of my comfort zone because I don't do stuff like this, you know. I got you. And I appreciate you. I really mm -hmm. do talk about that behind the scenes. So the first question I think um, your male followers would want to know, how's the kitty doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, this is a no judgment zone. It could be I could be talking about anything. Mm -hmm. uh, lonely and, and great. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> okay, lonely <laughs> and great. I think your female followers would want to know what made you get face piercings. Well, as you can see, I don't have any of them in right now. Right. Um, that's a whole story. But I love my piercings. I don't know. Like you know how some people are tattoo people and some people are piercing people. Mm -hmm. or like a piercing person is kind of like you get a tattoo then you get another tattoo then you get another tattoo like with piercings i got one and i got another one and then i'm trying not to look too crazy but i love piercings that's just it's just my thing okay so how many piercings do you have um right now one two three four hold on one two three four just four but Literally, since I started getting pierced, I think I've got pierced over like 16 times. Literally. 16. Because, you know, piercings not tattoos. Like, if I don't like a piercing, I just take it out. So I've had re -piercings. I've had my nipples pierced. I don't have those pierced no more. I've had my lip pierced. I had my nose pierced like at least eight times. <laughs> don't ask why. Really? I've got a lot of piercings in total, yeah. <laughs> okay, I didn't think we was going to get that depth into your piercings. Cause I didn't realize that you had that many and that it was a story behind it, but I'm glad I asked and I'm sure your followers, you know, those who, you know, I'm sure, I don't know if you talked about it on your channel or not, but you haven't. No. Nope. Okay. okay. <laughs> so see, y'all can get the tea over here. They're getting the tea. I'm going to tell them to come over here and get the tea. Cause it's real. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> up. Okay. I got the exclusive. Hey. All right. So. Mm, daughter. Mm hmm Next question. Okay. Link or whip? <laughs> Link. Link. Okay. Now you can elaborate or you don't have to. Okay. Next question. Okay. Handcuff or gag? Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. <laughs> I, don't I don't want neither of those. I don't want anything violent. <laughs> Nothing violent. Nothing crazy. Oh, I'm not crazy. <laughs> okay. But see, again, it can mean anything. Mm -hmm. It don't mean, see, if your mind, if you if you thinking about what you think the question is, because mm -hmm. it can mean okay. anything. Okay. How else do you interpret that question? <laughs> police handcuff, right? Don't or, police gag. Or, okay. Police, you can gag you. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, pick police gag people yeah. asking the same boring bullshit ass questions all the time. Like that. So do you want to answer the question? Handcuff or gag? It's still neither. Like <laughs> it's still neither. In no way at all do I want to be in either of those positions in any aspect. All right. Easy come or easy go. Mm. Easy go. Care to elaborate? Yes, I do. I would rather something come hard to me because I know I deserved it. And then something that I know I'm not supposed to have easily go away. Okay. Next question. Wi-Fi or dial up? <laughs> okay, Pam, I'm so young. You gonna you gonna laugh at me. What's a dial up? You don't know what dial up is? Really? Okay, so dial up is when you had to plug in the um, wires and cords to your modem to get connected to a computer. I forgot you and my you you the same age as my son, so yeah, that was really before. Uh, yes, that. <laughs> so which one would you prefer, Wi-Fi or dial-up? On twenty-first century Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi, okay. Yeah. All right. Next question. Eat, sleep. Fill in the bank, the blank. Eat, sleep, trucking. Eat, sleep, trucking. Okay. Blind date or one night stand? Ooh, I like that one. Mm. 
I've always wanted to try a blind date. So I'm going to say that. Okay. Text or call? I say text because I don't know how to get off the phone with people when it's time to go. Like, you know, when the conversation's been too long, you're like, all right. And like, that puts me in an uncomfortable spot. So I like texting because I can be a little avoidant. <laughs> okay. One has to go. Flats or drums? I'm trying to think of a different way to interpret this because I don't eat meat. And I know the first thing people are going to think with this is chicken. So I'm trying to think of a different way. Booty. <laughs> well, I want a flat booty or a thick drum booty. Drum. <laughs> <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> you got it. You got it. All right. Next question. Your life is like which movie title? Indecent Proposal or The Wolf of Wall Street? Demi Moore and her husband and the man wanted to sleep with her and he paid uh, the husband a million dollars and she did it and he the, the, the guy ended up wanting to basically keep the wife and she kind of fell in love with him. Okay. The Wolf of Wall Street. So you're going to go with The Wolf of Wall Street? Mm -hmm. All right. True or false? Cash rules everything around me. True. Every move I make is, is a thought into the future of how it will affect my bank account. True. Okay. Next question. Girl buy or boy buy? Boy buy. <laughs> okay. Talk too much or bad listener? Aren't those technically could be coexisting? Please head over to Instagram and follow my nonprofit, Sunshine for Truckers, helping distressed over the road student truckers find the roads to success. It's my way of giving back to the community that I passionately love trucking. Somebody talk too much because I'm a better listener. Okay. Dance or sing? Ooh, sing, sing. Absolutely, I love to sing. So you you know how to sing? Yeah. Don't don't get me to uh, asking you to sing now. <laughs> sing a little bit now. Um, I threw away your love letters. I. Thought it'd make me feel better, but I finally got you out of my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Water. <laughs> you was hiding that from me? <laughs> no, you would have peeped it a little bit like from some of my videos. It's real hidden though, like real hidden. Oh. <laughs> That was good. That was really good. All right. Next question. Malibu or Phoenix? Phoenix, Arizona versus Malibu. <laughs> That's how I interpret it. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. That's what I choose. <laughs> okay. Love or loyalty? Mm. Loyalty, because I feel like loyalty is more attached to fear. And when people love you, they tend not to fear you enough to respect you in a way that loyalty gives. Okay. One has to go. Wigs or makeup? Wigs. Easy. Okay. Bartholomew or Cletus? <laughs> I don't know what any of those are, like in the real world. So no, they're just names. They're just names. How I'm interpreting it is what I rather name my child. <laughs> or Cletus. And I really like Bartholomew. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot more than Cletus. Cletus sounds like 
clitoris. Like, I don't like that. Sounds weird. Bartholomew sounds like it has a real serious meaning behind it. It sounds like royalty or something. I like that. Okay, so Bartholomew. <laughs> Next question: Plan A or Plan B? Plan B because Plan A they'll never work. <laughs> <laughs> It's a funny um, joke from The Flash where it's like, step one, make the plan. Step two, expect the plan to go completely wrong. Step three, throw the plan out the window. Step four, make a whole new plan. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's my whole life. <laughs> I got you. So the next question, moonlight or nightlight? Moonlight. Just because I love the moon. Okay. Next question, truck driver or YouTuber? How I'm interpreting this is my bank account. And truck driving is filling my bank account way more than YouTube. So I'm going to go with truck driver. <laughs> All right. Bonus question. I was how old when I found out? Ooh, let me think about it. Ooh, I got to think about this. I want to get something good. I was how old when I found out about <sighs> I was don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like almost in college when I found out that there are not 51 states. <laughs> there are really? 50. I don't know where, I don't know where or why my whole life. I'm like, there's 51. I don't know where I made up the, the last state, but clearly my whole life, I thought there's 51. And then I don't know. I realized there's not. <laughs> okay. All right. So where can the audience find you? Um, Insta Black Girl Rave, YouTube Rave Trucking, and that's oh, and Snapchat Black Girl Rave. I don't use Snapchat like that. So really, Instagram and YouTube—that's the only platforms that I have. Okay. And you can find me in my truck. <laughs> Usually. Okay. okay. Your local truck stops. You know your, your local customers getting that getting to the bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I'll be heading out that way myself tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank you guys for tuning in as this show grows. I hope you guys continue to watch and enjoy the show. At some point, I would like for it to go live so you guys could interact with the guests. But right now, we're just doing a team. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. You can find me on all social media platforms at Pamula Baby. But now, I want you guys to be safe. Don't do nothing I would do. <laughs> and if you would like to advertise on my show, you can email me at pamulababy at gmail.com. But for now, I'm out. We're going to say goodbye. Bye. Peace.